Well, it's Zone Football Championships of the weekend, and I know that somebody who uh, loves country football and zone championships, particularly when they enter his zone, is none other than Graham Spud Mackay, who's with us to talk Northern Areas and the Northern Zone. Hey, Spud, how are you? I'm good, thanks, Wayne. Yeah, I enjoy uh, catching up with you too. Uh, last weekend, I'll tell you what, this topsy-turvy season in Northern Areas continues. Well, what an upset we've got here. Uh, Broughton Mundura, the week before, were done by Southern Flinders. Then Southern Flinders come out and get beaten by the Lions. It was BMW 10.969 to the Southern Flinders 8.351. Spud, tell me what's happening. <laughs> Nick Pierce is probably not going to like me saying this, but... Uh, it, it is great for the competition because just at the moment, we're not too sure who's going to win. And uh, my theory is that uh, we're not too sure who's going to be fronting up for the, the sides on the Saturday. Even on Friday night, we're, we're not sure who's going to be there. And as you, we're all aware, you know, COVID is rearing its ugly head again. And so therefore, if some of these sides have got two or three of their top players out, it does bring about an unexpected result. So... I don't know whether Southern Flinders had any out last week, but uh, BMW, Alec Kanga has got them really firing now, and, uh, and that's a great result because it really means now that the ball is in their court where they can, uh, if they get able to knock off uh, Crystal Brook or, or somebody like that, one of those sides that are above them there, uh, they are a real possibility of playing finals where uh, probably just three weeks ago you would have said no they, they didn't have much hope but now that's a result that does put them right up with it yeah it certainly does will smart booted three for the winners and uh, he was very good zeke k is a great player nice to see your galbraith get a couple and uh big pierce was in the better players kanga as you mentioned and matt fowler is always around the mark piers cogman with three and eddie um, arthur and alec kanga both booted two other matches uh Broughton mandura well yeah, they came back to the winning form they didn't like losing the week before and at home they took on Oruru and did the job 12 981 to 3 12 30. Yeah similar type of result to when they played uh, in the first game of the, the season down there at Broughton and they really gave Oruru a, a thumping but I oh, look Oruru uh, yeah they, they, they haven't got their full side again uh, I, I know that uh, Aidan Lee he, he, he sort of made a, a comeback after a knee op and then he's had trouble with his hammy, which is a pretty common thing. So uh, he, he'll get over that and hopefully when they get him back towards the finals, uh, that, that would uh, strengthen them immensely. And, and they will have other players come back in too. Uh, the two Diggin boys uh, have been down in Adelaide. They're playing uh, underage footy and uh, they'll, they'll get them back when that program's finished and it'll be a, a different type of Oru that plays finals. Uh, so I guess they, they, you know, they wouldn't put a lot, lot of emphasis on having won that match last week. Whereas Broughton, uh, again, they've got players out. Tommy Button and uh, uh, Wilbur Hewitt uh, are both missing, and they are two zone players. That uh, and so that makes a big difference too. So it's going to take us a while, and uh, we, you know, we, uh, when we get towards the end of the season, then then we'll probably know. What, what's going to happen? All right, that's a good call. Luke Bowman with three goals uh, for the win uh, for the Oruru side losers. Uh, he got all three of their goals. He's playing in the uh, uh, the interleague side, of course. Uh, great stuff from him. Port Mandura had Matt Ramsey with five. And how about this Strato Agorastus kick three? Say that one, Spud. <laughs> no, I won't try and say that one. <laughs> I'll leave that up to you. <laughs> Thanks for that. Uh, Kane Bowley and uh, Callis Free are pretty good too for the uh, side that won the game. And then James St. Peterborough, uh, 6 14 50. Crystal Brook, 9 10 64. The Brookers win this. But James St. Peterborough have improved a lot to Spud. And I know that I uh, have been speaking to you for a couple of years, but I have noted the improvement this year in the black and white. Oh, yeah. Look, they are playing a lot better. Uh, I know, like, well, you've only got to look at the scoring shots there. Uh, about the same amount, but not able to to get them through the the middle two posts. That's that's the, the key to this game is uh, not not getting a lot of points. Uh, and uh, yeah, look, they they are playing a lot better footy, a little bit indirect. And I know that uh, the coach got a little bit upset there at one stage last week when a player kicked sideways and uh, uh, instead of going long. And he's wanting them to to put it in long and uh, that, that can sometimes be an issue. I said to Jason there that uh, the play, if, if you haven't got, play, like you've got players that work hard to get the ball, but that's only the first facet of the game. The second facet is you've got to work equally as hard to try and make space 
and give your players something to kick to in that forward line. And I think that's the area where they're perhaps breaking down a little bit. Uh, Henry Moore has been playing good footy for them, but I think he was in the ruck there last week instead of playing up forward. So therefore, you know, if he was able to play full forward and you had another ruckman there, then, then you're sort of in business. But they are certainly improved. Uh, but Crystal Brook would be happy to get that, those, those two points because that then means that they, they are sort of looking at a, a final four position now. All right. Um, good to see Leo Coates, five for Crystal Brook, playing in the zone side two for the Northern Zone. Nick Wren and uh, Jack Kitschke both booted two, and Henry Moore tried hard, and Jack, uh, Jacob Langdon, good for Crystal Brook. OK, zone football, just a quick one. I know that the players named from the Northern areas are Leo Coates from Crystal Brook, Shane Ballantyne from the Southern Flinders, Joel amberg Pedersen from Southern Flinders, Luke Bowman from Oruru and Henry Slate from Oruru. A big weekend for the Northern Zone though, Spud, because it is the host at Wyala and, uh, and this SANFL game being played there makes for a really good contest. Oh, it certainly does and uh, I, I think that has enhanced that competition by having a, a sample game played there. Uh, they've done it for a couple of years now uh, and uh, so therefore it, it'll be a, a great weekend of, of footy and uh, look, uh, the, with these games You've got to turn up and be prepared to, to hit the, the scoreboard right from the very first bounce there because it's, uh, you don't get uh, much leeway. They're, they're shortened games and uh, uh, they, uh, they, you know, they, they are more of an impact player that, that makes his mark on these games rather than the player with the stamina because you haven't got time to just sit back and wait for uh, the, the heat to go out of the game. You've got to be able to hit the scoreboard very early. So looking forward to see how Northern go this year. Uh, we've got good representation from Wyala, which is, is great. We've always struggled to get players out of there, but because it's being played in Wyala, uh, we, I think they've got about six reps in there, and there's about nine from uh, uh, Spencer Goal, and I think there's about there's a couple from Broken Hill, so uh, I'm not too sure whether that equates to the 25, but there's 25 in the squad. Uh, so there, therefore, it, it'll be a great weekend of footy, and uh, let, let's hope that uh, Northern do uh, start to stamp their, uh, their mark on this competition a little bit. They, they were better there last year. They, they did get up there. So uh, uh, we're looking for them to move on from where they finished off last year. Great stuff. And the two Coombe boys um, from Crystal Brook, of course, will play with North Adelaide, which is fantastic. Um, the, again, their match against the Adelaide Crows at 4 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. Spud Mackay from the Northern Areas, um, from Jamestown, Peterborough. Uh, great to have you on board, uh, and we'll catch up with you next time. Thanks, Wayne.